Hi guys, Eric with you today from Patch Foundry and uh, I am going to just show you a real quick demo of how easy it is to install the patches from the Nord Electro 60 cover band collection onto your Nord Electro 60. Now this will work regardless of whether you have a um, 60 with 73 keys or 61. They're all the same um, in terms of the internal workings, so you're going to be fine. It's so simple. Let me walk you through how to do it. Okay, so I'm here in my studio. I've just pretended to download this because, of course, I made this, so I don't have to download it, but you will. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to click on this, and there's going to be a couple files in here that we're going to need. The first one is patches, second is piano samples, and the third is sample library. Now, all of these are going to have different things that you're going to need to install in a few areas on your Nord Electro 6D. Now first, before we even get started, I've got my 6D here, and before we do anything else, we need to connect it in the back. It's hard to see back here, but in the back here under USB, I'm going to need to plug into a USB cable into either a Mac computer or a Windows computer. It's your call. Um, and then you're going to need to download some software. The software that I'm going to download is called the Nord Sound Manager. I'm on 7.54, but they might release something um, newer here soon. Uh, then you're going to tap it. When you tap it, it's going to launch, and you're going to be able to see all of the patches that are installed in your Nord Stage, uh, or I'm sorry, in your Nord Electro 60. And the th I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller here so we have some room. And then there are three tabs. You're going to have a program tab, a sample library tab, and then a piano tab. So we've got program, sample library, piano. In order to install these here, you're going to have to drag in all the patches that you want all the piano samples you want and all the sample library that you want or the sample library um, in order for the patches to find the right samples so fortunately Nord makes this really really simple um, my recommendation before we do any of that is come up here in the right hand corner hit backup when you hit backup it's going to save a copy of everything you have on your Nord Electro 60 here um, to your desktop or wherever you decide to save it. That will make sure that if we mess something up, we can always go back to the starting place. So do that, hit save. It'll take a few minutes. Um, there's another way you can save stuff, which is really helpful. If you go into program here and you click on maybe a few patches, if you want to save just these patches, you can hit um, bundle upload. Bundle upload will save not only the patch, but any samples that are used with it. So it's a little bit bigger file, but it's really helpful if you need to hold on to some specific samples. So that's another way you can save some. Now, in order to install this, you're going to need approximately 260 open slots. I know that's a ton of slots, but it's a massive pack. It's pretty good bang for your buck. Um, so you're going to want to remove 260 <laughs> patches and save them either using that bundle setting up here or doing the backup if you don't think that you'll need to maybe access all of them um, and do like a clean install. Once you've done that, the next thing that we're going to do is go to the sample library and we're going to remove any sounds that are not used. Now. Currently, there's not a way uh, using the Nord Electro 60 to know for sure, which is why I highly recommend in program mode, or I'm sorry, it, there's no way to know for sure whether a, a individual sound is getting used or not. In with the Nord Stage 3 and with the Nord Stage 2, you can do that. I don't know why they took this out. That seems like a really weird omission, um, but that's why I highly recommend if you're saving, if you have a bunch of patches you want to save, use that bundle upload because that'll help. So 
once you've removed enough samples that you can drag in these samples, and by the way, you can find out how many you need to download here from the sample library by just hitting, clicking on the folder and hitting Command I, and you'll need approximately 156 megabytes. But again, you may, you're probably not gonna to have to install all of these patches because, um, or all these samples, because you're probably going to already have some of them installed because I used a lot of the, the basic ones. Um, at that point, you'll click in here, you'll select Command A, and then you'll just drag and drop this over here. I'm gonna just drag and drop it here. And by the way, if you're hearing some thunderous sounds, that's my son running around upstairs. So yeah, <laughs> dad life, right? And I'm gonna just drop it. When I do, the ones that are not needed are gonna pop up here and it says 63 sounds already exist because I'm already using a lot of these. We'll say not be downloaded, hit okay. That's fine. And of course, because this is installed already, I don't have to, I'm, I'm not gonna be installing any of these. Um, so let's go back to piano for a second. We're gonna do the exact same routine. Come over here, go to piano samples. I'll clear out some of the samples that I don't want. Also, I found out you can substitute smaller pianos and they'll still show up for the same thing. So like for instance, there's if you go to nordkeyboards.com and they have like five versions or four versions of the white grand piano. I've got the largest one here. If you don't want to take up that much space, you could download the small and it would still work with all the patches. So that's really handy. Um, so I take all of these over here, Command A, drag them in, drop them. And again, the download will fail. Um, if I don't drag it into the right spot. So that's the one other thing we should be talking about here. So like I'll have to put my grand pianos in my grand piano slot, and then it's not gonna download because I already have it there, but that would be how you do it. And you just go through with each individual category. The categories are lifted, listed here on the left. Once you've done that, let's go back over to program. We're gonna go back here. We've got all our empty slots opened up. And you would just go to your patches and you'd either drag them in one by one or uh, if you only need a few, or if you want them all, you can drag all of them in by command A and then just dragging and dropping. And that's how easy it is to install.